WICB presidential candidate Joel Garner told the Sportsmax Zone on Thursday about his plans to stop the slump of West Indies cricket. He also wants to regain glory for the Caribbean on the world stage. If you look at, if you look at the Cricket Operations Department of the West Indies Cricket Board, I think that that is where you have to start. I think one of the things you have to do is make people accountable for the actions and accountable for any policies or plans that you might want to implement. And I think that we, we might be, at the moment, depending on the territories to produce cricketers, but at the same time, we are not going to the territories to see what their needs are or what, what is wanted. Um, I know you say that we, we, we have all had lofty plans. I don't think that what we are uh, talking about here, what is being proposed, is, is very, very exorbitant. I think it calls for, for proper planning, proper implementation, and I think that it needs every hand to the plow. I think that it, it needs input from the territories themselves. I don't think that they can just think that, okay, leave it to the West Indies Cricket Board, or we can do it ourselves. I think there's, there's need for cooperation and collaboration between everyone. Meanwhile, embattled president of the West Indies Cricket Board, WICB, Dave Cameron, came in for harsh criticism Friday night from Twitter users after he supported unflattering comments about opener Chris Gale. Cameron retweeted a tweet which said that Gale should be given a retirement package following his dismissal for four in Friday night's World Cup Pool B clash between the West Indies and Pakistan in Christchurch, New Zealand. The WICB head was since removed, has since removed the post from his personal account and has apologized for his actions.